How you doing, Greg in real life? Coming at you here, I'm gonna do my uh, DVD, uh, wrestling DVD collection. Um, this is be, I'm gonna probably do it in two parts because the last time I tried to do this, very long, um, and didn't have enough room on my phone, so we're gonna try it this way. Um, yeah, I started collecting wrestling DVDs before I started collecting my Blu-rays and everything. Um, I've always liked collecting certain things and stuff, but like, wrestling, like I said, I've been a fan my whole life, so this is what I gathered over the past, actually since like last February. I started, well actually November 2011 is when I started collecting uh, wrestling DVDs, because I mean I have old VHSs and all that stuff, but I started, really starting my collection for wrestling DVDs, um, like November 2011, so from there until about, I'd say, February of last year, 2012, or not 2012, 2013, um, or I can't remember when I stopped collecting the DVDs, but then like I took a small little break, and then I started, like, I decided to only start collecting the, um, the Blu-rays. So, I'm just gonna get started here. Um, I'm gonna break this this first part. I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna start off like the single disc um, releases or the two discs that are in like standard DVD cases. Then we're gonna go into uh, the documentaries, match compilations, and all that. But let's get started here. Um, first, I got like a two pack. Came in this nice little sleeve. I got this um, one night. I was searching. In. I love this documentary. It's the Rise and Fall of ECW two disc you know I mean this is probably the best WWE DVD they produce documentary wise in years um, and then like I said two pack came with ECW one night stand the original first one the only one that really was good and mattered um, but yeah I got this two pack for only like six dollars brand new off of Amazon I was shocked um, because like this documentary is amazing and um, the pay-per-view wasn't that bad either, but just for like six dollars, could not beat that. That was great. Um, I was at Ollie's one day, and I was searching for this on eBay or Amazon, and you know they've they have it, but it's like it was always going for like amazing prices, like outrageous prices. Um, so then I was at Ollie's and I got this for like five bucks, the self-destruction of the Ultimate Warrior. The uh, I believe it's the yeah the two disc one. See the bonus disc, the original one. You know, this is basically the DVD that buried him until he decided to come back uh, last year. But, uh, I just downloaded this a long time ago, right? <laughs> but I downloaded, um, I watched it. I mean, I thought it was, it wasn't bad. I mean, it shows who, like, the WWE opinion on him. But, like, I thought this was actually really not that bad. Um, but I actually really wanted to have this in my collection. I'm glad I found it for, like, five bucks instead of paying, like, 40 or 30 bucks. Everyone else trying to sell it for. Um... This is actually like one of the first uh, wrestling DVDs I ever got. Uh, it came with, um, I'm not sure if it was WrestleMania 22 or John Cena. Um, yeah, one of my, one of my John Cena's uh, DVDs, but uh, it's Rey Mysterio 619. Just a little, uh, it just like can tell some of his WWE career from the first couple months he was there and uh, some WCW stuff. There's some good matches on here though too. Um, like just for reading this has ten matches. It has like his uh, w WCW uh, debut, uh, his first cruiserweight win. It says, and um, it has the 1997 match with Eddie Guerrero, which was match of the year. So that was actually a really good match between the two. Um, next up, I have this RVD Rob Van Dam one of a kind DVD. Um, this one I like. I enjoyed this one. RVD, you know ECW. But, you know, WWE released this, but, uh, great, great, uh, entertainer. A lot of good matches on here, but I believe this has the Jerry Lynn matches, which are awesome. Some good WWE matches on here, too. But, yeah, this is a good, it's a good one to get. Um, I got this. This is one of the three TNA DVDs I own. Uh, TNA, uh, I believe it's the Asylum Years Volume 1. This is good. I mean, I like this earlier, uh, it's double this, too. Um, the early years of, uh, TNA. A lot of good stuff on here. A lot of stuff that a lot of people probably wouldn't remember. There's a lot of D.L. Brown on here too, which is really interesting. But, uh, yeah, that's back when I first got into TNA is around the time 
like 2003, 2002, what it's like on syndicated TV. Um, yeah, it was just actually not bad. I got it for five bucks. I couldn't beat that, so I had to grab it. Next up, I do have Cheat in Life, uh, Steel and Death, uh, the Eddie Guerrero, uh, or Cheat and Death, Steel and Life, yeah, the Eddie Guerrero story. Um, it's like two disc. Has a nice little documentary on here about him. Um, and it has like, <laughs> the weird part about this is, uh, it actually comes with music videos. Um, just like, I thought it was like, maybe match highlights of his and like music, you know, that was just like, played with it but no it's legitimately like the music videos of the bands which is kind of funny but uh it says a lot of good matches on here i believe it has his no yep has his no way out victory when he won the wwe championship but this is a good dvd um i the, i'd rather have the three disc uh viva la rasa one but i never really bought it um next up i do have a three disc right here the twisted the twisted disturbed life of kane I mean, this disc, I mean, this set's really good if you like his earlier stuff, but, like, some of the newer stuff on here really isn't that great, but, like, a lot of the older stuff on here is really good. Um, next up, like I said, I was at Ollie's when I got the Ultimate Warrior DVD, Ultimate Warrior DVD, I had to get this as well, Hall of Fame, um, from 2004, the first one they re, like, they did, that rebooted them doing the Hall of Fame, got this one, um, two disc. I mean, this is this really nice. It has, like, the induction ceremony, and then it has, like, some matches for all the superstars that was inducted. Really good. Really cool. I like that. Um, next up, I got one of my favorite from TNA's. It's actually really one of the best wrestlers. I'll say probably top ten for me. Uh, Kurt Angle, champion from TNA. This is really interesting. Um, to this group. This is really interesting, a uh, little documentary they kind of did, and they threw, like, matches in there. Really, uh, really interesting. I enjoyed this. I like all the uh, Samoa Joe matches. Those are really, really, really good. <laughs> um, next up, probably one of the, before, like, ECW, or probably one of the top five documentaries that we ever did. Um, Jake the Snake, Roberts, Pick Your Poison. Uh, Two-disker. This ain't the one that comes with the book, which I wanted to find, but... Outrageous prices. Um, this one is really, really good, really eye opening. You just get to learn a lot about um, Jake Roberts' past, like what he went through, why he is, like, he had his problems with his demons and everything. But this is a really, really good uh, set right here. There's a lot of good matches, too. Um, there's a lot of good stuff on here. This is very enjoyable. Next up, I do have the hardcore edition of Mick Foley's Greatest Hits and Misses. Um, I believe this is a three disc. The, originally it was just two discs, but this is the three disc of it, uh, version. Um, <laughs> nothing to really say about this, but Mick Foley, you know, he's a crazy bastard. Um, he is ex he is actually one of my he is my favorite wrestler of all time. Um, but this is a great set. I like the the third disc, which is the hardcore bonus disc. I like it because all the matches come with uh, alternate commentary with him, and I believe Joey Styles. Yep, Joey Styles, really good. I enjoy that. Um, next up, I do have the complete anthology of the Royal Rumble Volume 1. Really nice set here. Um, you know, of course I'd rather get, like, the big box set, but, uh, that comes with all of them. But, that's way too expensive for my blood. But I got Volume 1, and I do have Volume 2. Really good sets. Really, I, I love these. Um, but these are the only ones I really have, just the two Royal Rumbles. I wanted to get the Survivor Series and everything, but, like, the just prices are just too much for me to buy. And then, now with the WWE Network, it's really not even worth it. Um, and also, like, you're going to notice I really don't collect the pay-per-views. I don't know why, I just don't really care to. And again, as I just mentioned, the WWE Network 2 is out, so... There's kind of no reason to collect them, because they're all just on there. But, I do collect Wrestlemania's, um, I mean, I started with Wrestlemania 20, this is, I don't really like how this one is, it's a stack disc, I know there's another version of this out there, I wish I got, but, um, these are the only pay-per-views I collect, I got Wrestlemania 20, and I got Wrestlemania 21, Wrestlemania Goes Hollywood, nice little set here, I mean, these were, like, dirt cheap when I was buying these. 
Um, then this is actually one of the very first wrestling DVDs I ever had is WrestleMania 22. It's in terrible condition, but uh, had over the years. I guess, what, eight years now it's been. But uh, I actually, this WrestleMania wasn't that bad. It was probably one of the better ones in the recent uh, past. Um, of course, WrestleMania 23. And the thing is, like, with collected Blu-rays, too, um, for like wrestling like these or any like anything that they put out I really the reason I like the DVD so much is because you know you get this nice little artwork and the fold outs and everything there's it looks great I mean the blu-rays is just kind of like the regular blu-ray case with that I mean if they had like slip covers or even like the Wrestlemania I believe it was 29 they had like a digi pack for it I mean if they did that more with their blu-rays it probably way better in my opinion but um Wrestlemania 24 I mean this is also an very bad shape. I bought this off of Amazon for way more than I should have, but at the time I didn't know that this was uh, actually very rare at the time because I guess Floyd, I believe it was his music or something like that. But um, that was actually a really good WrestleMania too. That was Ric Flair's last last match in WWE. Um, really good. That was that was a good WrestleMania too. Then I think this is when they really started to go downhill. Like WrestleMania 25, um, you know, three discs. Even like Triple H mention, mentions in his uh, DVD, like the main event between him and Randy Orton for the WWE Championship was kind of lackluster because, like, I mean, was, there's like the rivalry and the story that they built up. Like, they just want to see Triple H tear him apart, and then they told him like, "Oh, if you get disqualified, you lose the championship." Like, you should just have him like go run at it, uh, tear each other apart. That would probably made it so much better. Um, but. Oh yeah, and also for WrestleMania 25, we all know why the real good reason to have this is just for the Undertaker and Shawn Michaels match. One of the best matches ever in wrestling. Um, next up, the three-disc collection of WrestleMania 26. Again, Shawn Michaels' last match is on here in the WWE. Um, I actually didn't mind this, this WrestleMania was good. A lot of the undercard wasn't that good. Edge and Chris Jericho was good, but other than that, the undercard really wasn't all that good. Um, Next up, WrestleMania 27, I got this on Blu-ray. See, I mean, it's just kind of lackluster. But this one, um, probably the worst main event in WrestleMania history, I think. I mean, I don't, I, I don't hate The Miz or anything. It's just, I just wasn't built right. Nothing really, I think, gelled for that. Um, the Undertaker and Triple H match was good, though. And Randy Orton, um, Randy Orton and uh, CM Punk was really good on here, too. Underrated for that. Um, next up, WrestleMania 28. The Hell in a Cell end of era match. Probably the best match on the card. But Chris Jericho and uh, CM Punk on here. They definitely put on a great show. The Rock and uh, John Cena. No, it wasn't that good. Honestly. The next up, we got WrestleMania 29. See, most iconic photo in any WrestleMania, I think, now. But um, this one, this one I didn't think was that all, all that bad. Um, but on this one, you know, you got the Brock Lesnar and Triple H. I believe no holds barred match. That was that was that was a good one. Um, the Rock and John Cena, WWE Championship match with Rock being the champion. Not not a good way to end your, your WWE career for the Rock. Um, but Undertaker and CM Punk again. Undertaker best match of the night. I mean, they definitely. I'm not sure if they tried to steal the show. But they did definitely best match of the night, best match of the probably the year for uh, 2013. But yeah, this is uh that was good. I liked I liked a couple matches on there. Um, but this will conclude the, the part one of my wrestling DVD collection. Um, stay tuned for part two, which will be coming out real soon. Um, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, and I will be having a Blu-ray update for movies soon as well. As always, thank you.